Sherry. Ooh! You okay? What do you care? Laugh and cry. On fries? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Black guys put hot sauce on everything, on account of most of us been pepper sprayed by the time we're two. Can't taste nothing unless you got that burn on there. This stuff ain't that hot. Whoa! I feel like I'm crying, but, like, out of my neck and back. Oh, look at his face. He looks like Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Hey, that's a low blow. I'm gonna call the network and complain. Where's the phone? It's upstairs, Oliver. Yeah, they know what they did. Good Lord! If I don't do something, his stupidity will kill him. And then I'd lose Brian forever. Like that dog the Russians shot into space. He made it! Your dog is in orbit! It's wonderful! How do we get him back now? Oh, about that, we do not. Oh, my poor dog. He will die up there. Joke on them! I find Happy Dog Planet. In 50 years, we all go back to Earth and bite everybody. But now we dance! I think he's afraid. Am not. Prove it. Ten bucks. All right. This is for all the teachers who told me I'd never amount to nothing. <laughs> oh my god! That last one was more caliente than hot, but still, holy crap! Well, here's your money. This is awesome! I can get people to pay me ten bucks just for doing stupid stuff? Man, I haven't made money this easy since I invented the yanking. Peter, what's wrong? Well, I want to masturbate, but I'm just so darn cold. Too bad there's no answer for that problem. But now there is. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, creator of the yanking. If you're anything like me, the number one problem in your life is that you can't masturbate just anywhere. But now you can. Introducing the Yankin, the only blanket with built-in decoy arms. Our patented process makes it look like you're holding the remote or sipping a beer. Meanwhile, your real hands are under the blanket, going to town. Peter, what are you doing? Nothing. Let's watch a Scarlett Johansson movie. But wait, there's more. We have Yankits for all occasions, sporting events, at the supermarket, on the job. Hey. What's going on under that blanket? You'll never know. Hey, I know a place you can go, Lois. Hell, there, I said it. Now shut your mouth. What, do you think you're better than me? What, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? Ah, look at you, Brian. Right at home with us dumb guys. You're blending in better than a centipede among millipedes. Well, what should we do today? Let's try on a thousand shoes. Wait a minute. You're an imposter! I spent the whole morning trying to teach you one simple thing. Give me paw. Paw? Good. Other paw? No other paw. No! We practiced this! You're gonna make me look bad in front of the other guys. Other paw! Finally! You know, this actually reminds me of a quote by Milton. Shut the f up. Peter, we gotta talk. Ugh. I'm concerned about Stewie's preschool. Look what they're serving at snack time. Is... is that...? It's dog milk. They're serving dog milk to our children. Ah, oh, sweet dilk! Hey, Chris. You mind if I sit here? No, of course not. We were just having a political discussion. Bill's, uh, kind of conservative. Well, Jerome, I, I know you think we're all terrible, but white people have done a lot of good things for the world. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, I'll tell you. Listen up. We gave you Eminem and Justin Bieber, too. Even though they dress and try to talk like you. The music of Taylor Swift and clothing from J. Crew. And John Heater, also half of Derek Jeter. Add to that a fleet of soccer moms packed into their yoga tights. 
And so for all this awesome, neat, wonderful stuff, you know you don't thank the Lord, you thank the whites. We gave you Breaking Bad and all the songs by Creed. All the cast of Friends and Trash like Tara Reid. A virtual world of porn so you can spill your seed. Ray-Ban glasses, leggy blondes with tiny asses. Frisbee sports and fancy coffee too. Energy efficient lights. And so for all this awesome, neat, wonderful stuff, you know you don't. Thank the Lord, you thank the whites. Thank the whites, thank the whites, you know you don't. Thank the Lord, you thank the whites. You know, Lewis is right, Brian. You think you're Peter's pal, but you're really not. You're just his dog. Well, that's where you're wrong. Watch this. Hey, Peter, you want to go hit the clam? Nah, there's no way she's in the mood. Let's just go to the bar. Sounds good. Heading to the bar with my friend, Peter. You're lying to yourself, Brian. Like those girls who insist their best friends are attractive. Oh, Stewie, I can't wait for you to meet my best friend. She is so cute. Yeah, she sounds awesome. Oh, my God, yeah. People ask her if she's a model all the time. Here she comes. <laughs> okay, okay, that was an extreme example. But face it, ladies, your best friends are not hot. Hey, guys. Hey, Death. What are you doing here? Actually, I'm here for your show. Oh, come on, man. I'm on vacation. Wait a minute. Death, you work with God. Will you take us to him? Sure, I guess I could. But don't you mean her? <laughs> Look at your faces. Of course it's a dude. Come on, let's go. Stewie, you get down from there this instant. Munch me, bitch. Right now, Stewie, or you're in timeout. How many gray pubes you plucked today, you old bag? Your timeouts are a joke. You're a terrible parent. All right, Cleveland, one thing that always bonds women is healing an abused animal. So I got us an injured bald eagle. Somebody put cigarettes out all over him. Peter, that's a symbol of our country. This particular eagle is a dick. Everything out of its mouth is a taunt. Peter, you're being ridiculous, and you need to release that eagle out into... <coughs> What'd that eagle say? <coughs> Lock the door. Well, there's this guy I like at school, and I was thinking about, I, I don't know, maybe calling him and... Meg, are you asking in this day and age when the CEO of Xerox is a woman, when the president of Brazil is a woman, even Rosie O'Donnell is a woman, whether it's appropriate for a girl to ask a boy out on a date? Of course it's appropriate. It's also sad and desperate, and I would never do it, but you're not me, are you, sweetie? No, I'm not. Oh, no, you're not. Wow. Thanks, Lois. That's the second best advice anyone's ever given me. I don't know, man. Jesus, Hitler, Christ sounds weird. So just go with H. Yeah. Oh, Chris, girls are terrible. They're always backstabbing and giving each other phony compliments. Oh, wow. You are definitely not afraid of dessert. You know, I wish I were secure enough to throw on any old thing and call it an outfit. Come on. You have so much body confidence. I mean, who wouldn't with those strong legs? So muscular. I'm jealous of how thick with strength they are. Hey, I like your tie. Thanks. Men, we know how to be friends. Hey, Peter, you want to earn another 10 bucks? Of course I do. Great. I got a hilarious one. I'll give you $10 for your L4 vertebrae. So, uh, I guess this means, Peter, you're our Joe now, and Joe, you're our Peter. That means you gotta do anything for 10 bucks. Okay. I have a request. Yay, Joe's chin! Wow, you know, I know I just met you guys, but I I've kind of been looking for a new group of friends. Do you maybe have room for one more? Are you good at talking about how busy you are? Because that's a lot of what this is. Ugh, yeah, but don't talk to me about anything until I've had my morning coffee, because it's like I can't even deal. Well, I think I speak for all of us when I say we'd love to have you in our group of girlfriends. Oh, my God, that's awesome. Hey, can I be the one who laughs, screams really loud at restaurants? As long as you're picking up the check. Ah! <laughs> oh, we're going to ruin so many people's evenings. Oh, boy, I'm blending right in with you gals. Like a panda bear on a bed full of pillows. I'm hiding from the zoo. They want me to have a baby. I don't want to have a baby. Is that your dog at the bar? Hey, Jerome, one more. Neat. What the hell? Why is Jerome serving booze to Brian? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Come here, boy. Come on. 
Hey, what's up? We going for a ride in the car? No, no, I had a question for you. Don't ever do that unless you have a car ride to offer. Hey, how come you're allowed to drink? Yeah, you're not 50. Uh, actually, I am. I'm 56 in dog years. Oh, is that why you got white pubic hair? I'll thank you not to check out my pubic hair. Well, then don't go flashing it around. Put on some underpants, you crazy old man. Peter, I think you're missing the point. Brian could buy us booze. Oh, my God, you're right. What, would you do that for us, Brian? Sure, why not? Oh, thank God. Because just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. Sorry, but you're going to have to choose between music and family. If I choose family, does it have to be this family? Yes, Peter, this family. So make your choice. Very well. This scavenger hunt will provide you with my answer. Here it is, a penny from 1858. We're getting closer to our answer. Wake up, Mom. He chose the music. Yeah, we booked that orange juice commercial, so we thought we'd make a few upgrades around the house. Yeah, I even bought an awesome voice-activated 3D printer. Why the hell do you need a 3D printer? Print Coyote. <laughs> I can't make him attack you, Brian, but if I keep printing him, eventually one will go after you. However, I'm sorry to inform you that Brian has a brain tumor. <gasps> oh, my God. There's only one thing to do. Shrink down to microscopic size, enter Brian's brain, and destroy the tumor from within. <laughs> I was raped by a bug. Lois, fat ass. Family, I want you to meet Trisha Takanawa. Hello, everyone. So happy you came. Yep, food's on the table. And if anyone needs some dirty underpants, the vending machine's right over there. How nice. Right where my mother's china cabinet used to be. Lois, can I please have a dollar for the vending machine? No, Peter, I'm getting our coats. We're leaving. <laughs> no, feel too crinkly. Try again. Still too crinkly. You don't look funny. This must be so difficult for you. It is. There's a lot of choices here. But I ain't talking to you. I thought you were supposed to be doing a news story on Carter, not shacking up with him. The truth is, all I ever wanted was to someday have a family of my own. And I realized Carter could give me all of that. A family all your own? Yes. A family just like this, in fact, with a fine son just like you, Peter. A son to whom I could one day give a piece of sour plum candy. <gasps> Thank you, Mama Trisha. But a lazy son who does not make me proud? Peter, that son deserves no candy. <laughs> I swear, Mama Trisha, I'm going to make you the proudest tiger mom of all. Not like how Jesus feels about his kid. Dad, I got bullied at school. They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Whoa. Whoa. Billy, this guy in this book here, he's really getting the business. Yikes. Okay, I'm sorry. What happened at school today? You're kind of a dick, Dad. Huh. I wonder if there's anyone in here whose dad was a bigger dick. Wow, crazy. Will Quagmire stay in Korea? Will Peter find a new friend? Find out after this Korean commercial Ashton Kutcher thought no one in America would ever see. Hi, I'm Ashton Kutcher. Have you ever killed a dog while driving drunk and then been upset that there was no way for your car engine to cook it for you on the rest of the drive home? Well, those days are over. Thanks to Dr. Lee's Pet Engine Cooking Bag. Just put the dog in the bag, place it over the engine block, and drive your usual 20 miles per hour over the speed limit. Mmm, bow wow. I'm Ashton Kutcher, and remember, Dr. Lee's pet engine cookie bags are not meant for babies, but they can be used for babies. <laughs> we now return to Janine Garofalo and Mark Ruffalo in Garofalo. Turn it off, Chris. I don't even want to know what that is. 